ever make landfall in the United States. We heard of significant impacts at Tyndall Air Force Base and many communities along the coast. As Hurricane Michael continues its destructive path through the panhandle and leaves our state, we're turning 100% of our focus on search and rescue and recovery. But we need every family to help with this. Listen to local officials. We could still have flash flooding and tornadoes. We heard of two devastating tornadoes in Gadsden County. The weather is still extremely dangerous. Do not take a risk. Be safe. We also need people to be very safe with generators. Do not put a running generator in your home. It is not safe. Do not get out on the roads until you're told it is safe. We need the roads to be open for first responders and search and rescue to do their jobs and save lives. If it is not safe to leave your house, don't leave it. If you and your family made it through the storm safely, the worst thing you can do now is to act foolishly and put yourself and your family in danger or keep law enforcement and rescue workers from saving lives. Our law enforcement and first responders are heroes and are leaving their families to help others. We cannot thank them enough. As I said earlier today, we are deploying a massive wave of response. We will be sending help from air, land, and sea. This includes thousands of responders for power restoration, medical search and rescue, law enforcement, food and water distribution, and every other critical resource. I was briefed by the U.S. Coast Guard today, and they are pre-positioned in Tampa and Mobile with critical, critical assets and resources. Along with our thousands of rescue workers, local law enforcement has nearly 1,800 personnel ready to deploy. Right now, utilities are reporting more than 192,000 homes and businesses without power. We'll have updated numbers out to you throughout the night. So let's all stay safe, stay alert to weather updates, and watch this storm closely through the night. The entire nation and world have watched as this monstrous storm has devastated our Gulf Coast and Panhandle. All right, you've been listening to Governor Scott giving us an update about the search and rescue efforts and, and how much is being deployed to help those who might be in trouble throughout the state of Florida.